so here we are on the last installment of the third film one more film to go and then we are done and then it's free play so we're on the infamous beach scene always makes me laugh in the film because you can kind of still you can see from the birds view that they do that there's buckets of water laid out which means that either will or mr beckett is there to carry the buckets just to get davy there now's the old switcheroo switching well for jack oh nobody's helping him go now we have to free Calypso with all the pieces of it. Oh, shame you wanted a cocktail. Whoa, makes a grow. She can tell. See, it's highlighting all the ones we need to find. So the first one we're going to do is this one gonna look through the telescope see our lovely friend and follow her with a telescope I think I was having some problems with my controller there we go we'll follow her and she'll throw us over life preserver so we'll put that in each item we put in will make her grow bigger there we go we'll break over the box get the lovely parasol and we'll give it to to this guy to which he'll give us his wooden knife and we'll add that in. To which she's slowly getting bigger. So we'll go up to the top here. We need Mr. World Herner. When he's not stuck on the ropes. To take down this target. Provide us with a rope to go up top. See, there's a black gem there. We're gonna grab it. I'm gonna jump down. Quick, grab it. I dropped it. Oh no. And I'm gonna put that in. Whoop. Just a couple more to go. So we're gonna go grab us a torch. Jump down here into the boat because for some reason the croissant has fallen down here and surely it's gonna be soggy and bleh. but oh well good job we're just throwing it in there in it and not eating it so nearly there so we've just got the trumpet and the sausage left to get so we're just gonna break these up Apparently we need Ah, that was the trumpet. I got confused then. I was like, hang on. So it's just the sausage left now. And uh, she's crawling with crabs. Which can't be good for anybody. Especially with them sharp sharp pincers. So we're gonna go back up top. We're gonna decline this rope. And there's a zip line. And we're going to jump on the zip line and slide down. Grab the torch. Light the cannon. So the cannon can shoot some silver barrels for us. There we go. And now we'll jump down and grab that sausage. And chuck that one in. To which the crabs explode. And she's done. Now's the battle. As 
Because we go into the Whirlpool to defeat a David Jones. Jackson the Brig, of course. So we are, everything. She's making things worse now, to the armor. Now, to get the uh, lightning to stay, you've just got to run under the cannon. You don't actually have to do anything or wait for it. You've just got to run under it and it sets off. Now, to shoot the, like, the cannon holes, the portholes, as you will. Now, just defeat the baddies as they come. But there are two types of baddies in this one. You've got the guys in red and um, the Dutchman crew. I forgot what they were called then. So we'll spin this up to get us another cannon and a lovely wave. Should. Oh no, got to spin it. My bad. So we'll build it up. To give us a Zarkon to count on. We'll grab a torch and we'll go boom. So I said you just want to take aim and shoot the cannon holes, potholes. If you've got better aim than me, cool. If you haven't, don't worry. So we just need to get rid of these crabs now, so we'll just build this thing up gives us a wheel. This part's the wave where the uh, wave is handy. Gets rid of all the sea crabs and we'll grab the torch and we'll go do that last cannon. And fire. Needs to be a little bit lower. There we go. We have freed Jack. To be fair, that seems to be the only way he's getting out of prison. Every single time is when somebody shoots the uh, the brig doors off. So now it's off to, Dave, to the Dutchman to get the chest to stab the heart. Oh, well, Jack's one step ahead. Good old bootstrap bill. Oh, this is the part where we're Will is slowly dying. So we've got a defeat bootstrap Bill. Got to keep attacking him. And then you can rebuild him and then he'll be on your side. So we've just got one last heart to go. And we've done it. And then we just need to rebuild him up. And he's, and he's on your team. Simple as that. Now it's on to a fight with a Davy Jones. See, the monkey's distracted. Right. He loves to jump about. So I go up top. Get some studs. Just trying to work out how to get to Davy Jones. Thinking there's a zip wire or something. Nope. Turns out you need to go. You need to be a bootstrap bill and be that lovely sifo that we love to uh, slide in. There we go. Which brings you up here. grab the light to get rid of the tentacle monster because we got to push this to get to the top and we'll go to Jack because everything's like Jack David Jones so we're going to go to you and out 
extends a arm for us to walk across. And we're going to do a battle. Cha cha cha. A jumpy down. Watch out for his uh, jumpy things because it's like the Kraken. Good bootstrap. So we're going to go through the sea foam again so that we can attack Davy Jones. I love the way Davy Jones just splats. Makes me laugh. Because he literally just goes splats and it's like just his tentacle face on the floor. I find it quite funny anyway. Not everybody does, but I do. So we've just got to play this game of following him around, dancing. Now, it seems to just be dangling off the rope. Don't know if he's meant to be coming up, if that's a glitch or what. No, he's meant to be up. Okay. So we'll use Jack to get up. And we'll jump across, give him a good old whack. Get him down to his final heart. And as you can see, he lets us lets a rope loose so that we can climb up and jump across. And now we're doing the high lie high lie wire app. There we go. Oh, I didn't show him splatting. Oh, Jet the Monkey actually being useful for once. Will stabs the heart and is now the new captain of the Dutchman. Bye bye, Davy. So we just gotta wait for his heart. There we go. Down he goes and off Jack comes. Along with Elizabeth. And then my ultimate favourite scene from the whole franchise is when the Dutchman and the Pearl shoot down Beckett and he's just walking down the stairs. If you've seen the movies, you'll know which scene I'm on about. And I just, it's just a good scene. It's just the way he accepts that everything is built is gone such an iconic scene give you my heart quite literally <laughs> Jack's not happy the uh, the pill's been stolen from him yet again by Barbosa oh he was going after something but not now because he's not got the map 
Ah, the fountain of youth. I always will skip the credits. That was one strong kiss. Because here comes Will to meet his son for the very first time. 